everyone welcome back to another tutorial so this video was actually requested on how to create a thumbnail which I know a lot of you guys follow me you're in the process of growing your YouTube channel and you're just having some difficulty getting the right traffic to your channel to get more subscribers and more views so I'm gonna take this video a step further and not only show you how to create a thumbnail but how to use AI to create the proper titles and keywords to get those views let's get started All right, so I'm going to be teaching this as though this is your first time watching me and this is your first time opening up the Canva application. As you all know, my videos are beginner friendly, so I always like to slow down the pace a little bit just for the people who's just learning a software for the first time. So the first thing we're going to do um, is we're going to go up to the top here and we're going to click on templates. Right. So I'm going to try to create this in a free way slash pro way. Um, I'm going to give you multiple options. So up at templates, we're going to type in YouTube thumbnail. Now you can get very specific with this. You can do YouTube thumbnail craft. You can do vlog kind of put in, you can do gamer um, just to kind of show you guys the different um, variety that they do have on here. Let me type in crafts. And you can see, and if you are new again to Canva, anything with that crown next to it, that's on the pro feature, anything that doesn't have a little crown, that's considered free. So let's do another one. Let's do gamer. And you have some here. So what Canva does is I love their little template marketplace because it gives you an idea at least on where to start. You don't have to utilize everything in the template, but at least it's giving you some type of um, visual on what people are or how people are creating their thumbnails within that niche. So I'm gonna go back to crafts. And when you click on these, you can always, let's just do a free one just for today. This one's cute with the bracelets, I like that. I'm gonna click on her. So you're gonna click on the, um, the template that you like, and then you're gonna hit customize this template. It's automatically going to size it based off of the measurements that is required on YouTube. So you don't have to make any adjustments to the sizing or anything of that nature, okay? So now when it comes to your thumbnail, this is very important actually. Um, you can do this one or two ways. Now, for example, I'm going to just open up my thumbnails on how I do mine because what I've learned is that if, you, if you've noticed, <laughs> my thumbnails are very much the same, very uniform. I use the same theme, which is the flower border. And then I use the same bubble font. Now, on a lot of popular YouTube channels, they typically will use the same exact template, the same exact fonts, the same exact layouts. If they change a little bit, it's not too drastic to where you don't know it's them. So every time you guys see this this flower banner, you know that's Smith Signature Prince. You know that's Alex, you know that's me. If you see this bubble font, you know that's me. You don't even have to really like, if you follow me, you don't really have to like, you know, double take. You like, oh, I see that font, I know that's her. So you can do it that way to where it's everything is pretty uniform from, you know, every um, every thumbnail or you can change your thumbnails. For example, let's go back up to design and let's hit YouTube. Thumbnail. Um, I can't spell today. I can't spell today. Okay. Um, and you can just go based off of what you're talking about, you know, you may, you may have some diversity. Let's say that you may have some diversity on your channel. You may talk about food. You may talk about, you know, your morning routine. You may talk about cardio. You may talk about a lot of things to where you have to change up your template every time you upload a video. Um, now you can do it that way. For example, this is about vlogging. And it's usually, you know, vlogging is very similar. You know, I love this font. That's beautiful. Um, and, you know, things of that nature, if you if you look at these or you could do something like action, uh, wow, you know, a wow type thing. Let me give you an example of that like this. Oh, my God. Top five pranks or oh, my God, this and that. So 
as the person creating the thumbnail, think about those thumbnails that you click on that gets you to click on it. Did it capture your attention? Was the fonts and the color scheme, was it nice, bold and bright for you to be able to, for it to capture your eye out of the rest of them? Even this one is like a shocking thing. Um, This one, you know, if you don't feel comfortable in a lot of these channels nowadays, either they have something like this to where you can recognize them based off of their font or their border, or they put their faces inside of each one. So no matter what their thumbnail looks like, you know that when you see her face, this is her podcast, her vlog, her tutorial, right? So you have to go based off of what you feel comfortable with. Do you feel comfortable showing your face? If not, go with just the fonts and the border. If you feel comfortable showing your face and using the same exact PNG, you can change up your thumbnails as much as you would like. Just keep using your face so people can recognize that it's you. Even right here, you see how I'm looking um, on this particular one? Oh, top 12 tips and tricks and things of that nature. This right here is the same exact setup that everyone is using. I just added my little touch to it. You know, I add these little colors in the background and I added my face. Um, it's about cricket. So I made sure that my um, color theme is green, nice and bright and pretty to kind of capture you guys to kind of click on it. So how she got this little white banner around her body. So when you take a picture of yourself, um, just make sure it's, it doesn't have to be like an all white background or a solid background, but you're going to remove the background first. And of course, if you don't have the pro feature, this will not be available to you. You might have to outsource and find a different software that's free to where you can remove the background, but you're going to remove this background first. Okay. Then once you remove the background, you're going to go up to edit and you're going to go to shadows under effect, click on shadows. Then you're going to go to outline right here. This is how you control how, the size and the depth of the outline. Also the intensity. Do you want it really, really white? Do you want it a little white, you know, transparent, right? Um, you can either change the colors. You could change it to red. You can change it to yellow, pinks, any type of color you want. Anything to where it kind of matches the aesthetics of the of the background. You could play around with the fonts. And if you don't really have an idea of what fonts you would like to use, there's a lot of fonts here. And you can always go to text. And some of these right here are free. And some of them are pro. Majority, nine times I've seen they're pro. Th these steps that I'm taking right now is what has gotten me the views and the subscribers that I have. Not only am I providing informational videos, but I'm providing a thumbnail to where they want to click on it. Let's talk about how to title our thumbnails. So this is where ChatGPT comes in, okay? So I use ChatGPT for everything. This link will be in the description box below. So you're gonna ask, this is like an AI tool. You're gonna ask it anything you would like it to create, do, or whatever. Anything that comes to your mind, to be honest. It could be your therapist, for God knows, right? And you're just gonna hit enter. And it's gonna give you at least a few topics at a time. So it gave me five. It says, how I make viral YouTube thumbnails with Canva and AI. Create the perfect thumbnail using Canva and AI. No design skills. I like that because you don't really need design skills. Make thumbnails that gets clicks. So you see how these are, right? So these, these, these are going to be the title for the thumbnail. Now, when it comes to titling the actual video, that can be completely different than titling your thumbnail. The title of your thumbnail needs to be eye catching, grasp the audience, you know, grab them, bring them in. You know what I'm saying? The, out of these thumbnails, I'm going to say now provide me with a similar video title from these thumbnails. Now you could be more specific and say, for example, you like the first one. Um, let me see, easy YouTube thumbnails using the AI step-by-step. I like the step-by-step because -step this is letting you know that it's begin. I like the beginner guide too. Beginner guide, Canva plus AI thumbnail hacks for YouTube. I actually like this one. So I'm gonna say from the fourth option. 
So we're going to go with that. All right. So out of the fourth option, it says beginner guide Canva plus AI thumbnail hacks for YouTube. So that's going to be your on your thumbnail. The next, which is how you title the video, Canva plus AI hacks to make scroll stopping thumbnails beginner friendly. You see how it did that? It took the same exact title that you're using and put it in a way to where you can use those keywords, AI, Canva, beginner friendly, thumbnail. It's using those keywords that people will actually type in to find this video. So for someone that just needs to like, how do I create this using this or Canva? So make sure those keywords are in there. So now that you have the keywords, um, now that you have your thumbnail header or title, you have your video title. Now let's th let's talk about the tags and keywords. Now, when you upload a video, the max tags you can have is 500 characters, right? Now that you have your your title for your thumbnail, you have the title for your video. Now we need to actually create hashtags or competitive keywords to add into the tag section when you upload your videos. And what I mean by that is let me just go to my studio here. I'm gonna scroll down. When you're uploading your videos, it should actually you should actually be going through this when you actually upload it. But say for example, you upload your video, you didn't add any tags, right? Um, I'm just going to go to the the main page on my studio. So for content, and then I'm going to click on my video here. And I'm going to scroll on down until in tags, tags are very important. And I know you guys are like, how do you get these little green things right here? I'm going to show you that guys that in a moment as well. This is, these are the keywords that people actually type in to view you know, to find things on YouTube. They may say how to how to grow your small business or, you know, how to make money with, or how to start your business with zero money or things of that nature. Those keywords that they type in, those are, those are considered your tags. So this right here is what I use to actually create those tags. I use this exact verbiage. So this verbiage will actually be in my description box below it to where you could just copy and paste it. Okay. So what I'm going to put in is please come up with a competitive keywords that would make this title. And I'm going to take that title right here. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it titled. And then it has beginner guide, Canva AI tools, searchable and reach the right YouTube audience on YouTube based on this video made. Please make sure it's within YouTube's total characters of 500. Please do not add any bullet points, just commas to pretty much separate it. Then you're going to hit go. And guess what it's going to do? It's going to do all the work for you. And all you have to do is copy this and paste it. So pretty much is using the same keywords you use in your thumbnail in your title and now it's giving you even more it's going to provide more reach to your audience with these keywords so chat gpt is pretty much doing all the work for you you just have to type in the correct keywords to get the correct answer from chat gpt now now okay so now that we have all this done so now we're going to take this title that we have so i'm going to say beginner guide i'm just going to copy this we're going to go back to Canva and you want to make this as big as possible to where people understand what they're clicking on before they actually, what they're actually clicking on before they click on it, if that makes sense. So we're going to keep that right here for YouTube. I may want to center this a little bit. So now you can go into elements and kind of spice it up a little bit. So I might look for a YouTube, maybe a banner or maybe a little clickable. I'm going to say YouTube icon. Um, I want something a little bubbly that kind of matches the aesthetics of what I do. So this one's cute, nice and bubbly. Let's do Canva. Let's see if I can find a Canva icon as well. That one's pretty. I'm going to drag that down. So they know exactly what they're getting when they click on it. So you have YouTube, you have Canva on one side. And I want to add the chat GPT icon. I'm not sure if they have it. I may have to grab it offline. And I know what you're about to say. Oh my God, this is copywriting. You're taking it from the internet. I'm using this for educational purposes. So it's, we're going to live. Okay. Okay. So I think I'm going to go with this one. This one's off of what? Wic um, Wikimedia. I want to say Wikipedia, but okay. So I'm going to copy the image 
and I'm going to go back and I'm going to paste the image, which is right here. And so since the white background is on there, I'm going to hit remove background because all I need is the actual icon. It's a little fuzzy, so I'm going to go up to edit. This is all optional. I'm going to hit upscaler and I'm going to say upscale to 16. And once it's done, you're just going to hit add to design. And it's going to make this look less distorted. So I'm going to delete, I'm going to delete this one. Come on, delete. All right. So now that I'm actually reading this, um, I think I want to change this around a little bit. I'm going to still keep the same keywords and key terms, but I'm going to put. All right. So what I did was I went ahead and I changed up the title just a little bit because I didn't want it to be too cluttered. I want it to be straight into the point. And usually your thumbnails need to be straight to the point because that's what you need to capture the um, the viewer. Right. And then you can actually add as many um, you can add the other title or other keywords inside of your actual title to the video. OK, so the last touch I'm going to do here is add a picture of myself. Um, mm, doesn't matter which side, doesn't matter which side, but I can always flip it as well. I can do it this way. Um, let's do that and just add a picture right here. Okay. And I'm going to maybe move these over just a tad bit. So it's not touching me just like that. So it says beginner guides, thumbnail design using Canva and AI. Now there is a tool out there that you can utilize to actually come up with these automatically without using ChatGPT as well. This is another kind of like AI tool. It is called, it's up here. I don't pay for it anymore, but the tool or the extension is already linked to my YouTube. So I just kind of utilize the free aspect of this software. But what it does is it actually can create chapters and things of that nature, um, tag lists, video top. It just put put every your search engine optimizations, everything into one space. But it used to be only this is per month. But yeah, it used to be only like maybe five or six dollars. People started utilizing this um quite often and it went up to $15 a month and I'm thinking like I already pay 15 for Canva pay 15 for this why do this when I can use ChatGPT yes it may take me a little time to kind of you know copy and paste it in when this is already kind of like integrated inside of YouTube once you download it but I'm not paying no $15 a month no um let me just exit out here Say, for example, I wanted to add, you know, um, different cards and add chapters. It says right here, thumbnail um, analyzer where it creates a thumbnail for you. But who I want to do my own thumbnail, add chapters to your um, content, let you know how popular your keywords are. And one thing else that it does, let me go to YouTube. Let's say you're making a notepad just like this young lady right here. Let me click on her video. Hit pause. But say, for example, that you are making a thumbnail. What this application does is let you know how many search engine, what her search engine score is based off of the tags and titles. Um, how many tags? 10 out of 20. Tags and description, 20 out of 20, 20. You can copy all of this. You see this little button where you can copy? and copy the clipboard, you can copy her all her tags that's getting her the traction or traffic to her actual YouTube channel, and you can paste it inside of your video. So if you know that it's working for her and her score is green and it's getting a lot of traffic, you can use those same tags and put it inside of your video to get that same exact traffic. So again, I don't pay for this, but that feature is built in the extension, which is already free. Um, so I utilize it sometimes. Sometimes I'll go in and look at a video. I'm like, okay, she used hot rhinestones, how to Canva. She used these exact keywords. I'm not going to utilize all of them, but I'm going to utilize some of them. Okay. Now that I told you guys or showed you guys, I know this video was probably a little lengthy, probably a little long. I apologize, but you know, I like to be very thorough and give you multiple examples of, you know, and different choices of how you would like to go about creating your thumbnail and how to get the best traffic and attention to your channel. But if you guys really enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if not already. And I'll talk to you guys on my next video.